A very good Wednesday morning to you and welcome to the Fixed Wing Guide channel with me, Stuart Lomas. I hope I find you very well. Um, the weather here in Manchester, well, the uh, beautiful, delightful uh, Indian summer uh, that we were having has disappeared and been replaced with a grey, cloudy, rainy, awful day, the more familiar stuff that we have at this time of the year. Um, what I want to talk about today is, is just something that we're, I think, all guilty of, are guilty of, or have been guilty of in our watch collecting past, uh, which is what I've christened the sticking plaster or band-aid watch. Now, what I mean by that is, and you'll probably have an inkling, is that uh, when we get this itch, which is unavoidably uh, in the need of being scratched to buy another prestige timepiece, something that we can feel proud of on our wrist. Uh, a little voice is also in our ears at the same time saying, ah, now, you see, just hang on just for a minute, you know full well. That it's not too long ago that you spent a fair amount of money on that beautiful last timepiece that you bought. And you also know full well that your beloved is noticing the money that you're spending. But regardless of that, that itch is still very, very annoying and it's ever present. So what you do, you wander off to all the usual sources like Amazon and eBay and you find something that appeals to you. It looks nice. It's a, the colour that you want. It has the band that you want. So you think, right, OK, well, what I'll do, I'll shout out uh, 150 pounds, 200 dollars, 200 euros, and and get this little beauty delivered to my front door. So the time goes by, and you're waiting anxiously for the postman to knock on your door to get you to sign for the parcel, so you can slap this piece of horolog horological beauty on your wrist. Now you know full well that what this is actually doing is not satiating you at all. What it's actually doing. It's just giving you a, a false uh, filler of a timepiece that once you've had it on your wrist for a couple of days, you'll realise that actually what it is, is a sticking plaster or a band-aid that you're putting over a massive gaping wound that in fact what needs is stitches at the very least, or maybe even the intervention of a surgeon to put it right. So... There you go. That's that. What I'm saying is, is this is something that we're all guilty of. We try to satiate ourselves by uh, buying something cheap because we can't wait. Now, what I want to do is find out from you guys whether you've done it. Now, be honest. If you've done it when you did it last and what you bought, what you were waiting for to buy because you lost patience and you needed something. So what was your piece that you were saving for? So what did you buy as your sticking plaster piece? And let me know whether you still have it or let me know as soon as you got the actual piece that you were saving for, did you flip it? Or worse still, did your good lady wife or your husband or your beloved get wind that you bought the sticking plaster watch and said, ah, now, Mr. or Mrs., send it back. I'm not having this. You're spending far too much money on wristwatches, so get it sent back immediately. Is that what happened? If you've still got your sticking plaster watch, and maybe when it arrived, you actually fell in love with it, and it maybe it's become your beta, perhaps. Something that you wear all the time, regardless of what level of hard work you're doing. Anyway, that's it for this one. Let me know uh, what exactly uh, sticking plaster or band-aid watches you've bought in the past. And let me know whether you've still got them. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we've lost a couple of subscribers over the last few days. But hey-ho, that's life. Um, thank you very much for all the great comments to my last video. Any queries, comments, questions, suggestions for this kind of nonsense, as always, down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, which will counteract, no doubt, the thumbs down that I will get. And if this is your first time here, have a quick look at uh, my back catalogue. It's not all about watches, but mostly. And if you're enjoying the kind of nonsense that you're seeing right now, feel free to subscribe. So that's it for this one. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.